So hey guys, today I'm going to show you the best $1200 full setup for gaming. This is going to be ready for 1440p 60fps gaming. If you want to find out more, then keep watching. So hey guys, this is a team overclocked. Today I decided to help you guys out by putting together this $1200 full setup for gaming. Now what kind of performance should you expect? This setup is going to be capable of playing games at 1440p ultra settings without a problem in all of the major AAA titles like GTA 5 and Battlefield 1. You can run lighter games like League and Dota 2 at 1440p max settings with above 100 FPS as well, which is great if you're into those types of games. Honestly, this is amazing performance considering the price. If you want to check this setup out, there's going to be a PC part breaker link in the description, so click that if you're interested. But without wasting any more time, let's dive right into the PC itself. For the CPU, we have the AMD Ryzen 5 1500X for $189. Now this is a price to performance beast. It comes with 4 cores and 8 threads, which is a lot more than the competing i5s. It's also clocked at 3.2GHz and is overclockable, which will let you squeeze the maximum performance out of the CPU. The CPU also comes with a pretty decent stock cooler, so overclocking with that stock cooler shouldn't be a problem. The 8 threads that this offers is going to be more than enough for gaming at 1440p and should also let you video edit at 1440p and at 4K, which is great performance. For the motherboard, we have the MSI B350 PC Mate for $85. MSI makes some great motherboards and this is no exception. This is an ATX motherboard with 4 RAM slots, USB 3 headers, and an M.2 slot. It also has a B350 chipset which will allow for overclocking which is a great feature to pair with our CPU. For the RAM we have the GSK Aegis 8GB set for $55. This is a pretty standard 8GB set that comes clocked at a pretty decent 2133 MHz. This RAM kit isn't the most impressive thing out there, but it will get the job done for 1440p gaming. If you do lots of video editing or have a few extra bucks, I would recommend you buy 16GB of RAM, but for most of you guys, I think 8GB is fine. For the hard drive, we have the Seagate Fire Cuda 2TB for $94. This is a hybrid hard drive, so that means it combines SSD and hard drive technology to create a balance of price and performance. This drive spins at 7200 RPM and has 8GB of cache. These specs translate into a pretty fast user experience and should give you pretty good loading times. The 2TB capacity that this offers is going to be more than enough for all of your games, movies, and media files, so you can't go wrong with this. For the graphics card, we have the Gigabyte GTX 1070 for $330. This is one of the most popular GPUs out there right now because of its great performance. This model comes with a pretty good dual fan cooler and has a clock speed of 1.8GHz. It also has a massive frame buffer of 8GB which is going to help a lot when you're gaming at 1440p. Speaking of performance, you should expect to max out all games at 1440p with this GPU. This is going to fit the setup pretty nicely especially since I got a 1440p monitor so I couldn't pass this up. For the case we have the Cooler Master Masterbox 5 for $50. This continues Cooler Master's reputation for providing great bang for the buck cases. This has a nice side panel window, a PSU shroud, a ton of room to cable manage as well as a modular design. The front panel also has two USB ports and a set of audio jacks which is what most people need. Building this should be pretty easy and you should definitely end up with a nice PC as long as you spend some time cable managing. For the power supply we have the Seasonic S12 620 for $48. This is another great power supply from Seasonic. It features an 80 plus bronze rating and is really reliable. Although it's not modular, it does leave a lot of room for upgrades, so you can't go wrong with this. Next up for the operating system, we have Windows 10 Home for $35. You can get Windows for this price at Microsoft Software Swap or at Kingwin. Both are great sellers that I'll link in the description. Windows is the obvious choice for gamers and should be compatible with most programs that a gamer or content creator would want to use, so picking this wasn't too hard. 
Next up for the monitor, we have the BenQ BL2420 for $230. This is quite a lot for a monitor, but it does have some great specs. This is a 24 inch 1440p panel that has a response time of 5 milliseconds. It also features a DVI, HDMI, and a DisplayPort connection. Gaming on this should look pretty great and content creators should be satisfied with the quality as well. 1440p is a great resolution to play at and this monitor definitely provides great bang for the buck in that segment. Last but definitely not least for the keyboard and mouse, I went with the Cooler Master Devastator 2 bundle for $30. This is a pretty basic keyboard and mouse bundle that features membrane switches. This combo comes in red, blue, and green colors, so just pick the one that suits you. Although this isn't the fanciest thing in the world, it provides a decent gaming experience at a very low price, so you can't argue with this. Keyboards are pretty subjective to begin with anyways, so you can really just put whichever keyboard you want in this little category. Once again, if you want to check this setup out, there's going to be a PC Parts Breaker link in the description, so click that if you're interested. But anyways guys, that's all for today. If you liked the video, please be sure to overclock the like button if you didn't like it. Please dislike this video and subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.